Hey, it's Kim and I'm back with another video. Thank you for stopping by to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be pretty, pretty quick. I am going to document how I am customizing this Olive Traveler's Notebook. So this is from the Traveler's Company and it's the Olive Notebook and I bought this a um, few months ago. So it's not new or anything, but I haven't really used it. I do have things inside of it, but it's not in rotation as of yet. I'm just kind of having fun, really, that's what it is. So what I wanted to do, because the Olive Traveler's Notebook is really... Um, I don't know how to explain it. So it kind of gets scratched up really easily. I think it patinas really easily. And I love the fact that it gets that worn kind of look or vibe or feel. So I really want to make this like a very lived in kind of TN. So that is the journey that I'm on at the moment. So as you can see, I've already added a few patches. And these are ones that I got from Amazon. So these three, and no rhyme or reason necessarily. I mean, I am Christian, but <laughs> aside from that, I just gathered a bunch of patches that I just really like. And I also put in an order from Bomb Cohen, and while I did that, I got a few patches from them as well. So I'm gonna be adding these patches as well as a couple of other things and yeah just a couple of things so we'll see how this kind of evolves but i'll let you know what my plan is while i'm taking this out so i'm going to add the patches and i'll be using crazy glue so originally i used this i used e6000 and it's too flexible um it says right here that it's flexible so duh kimberly that's why and the patches kind of would peel up a little bit especially at the corners so i felt like it definitely would not be a lasting solution so i did actually order some leather needles for my sewing machine i need to figure out the best kind of thread that i want to use and once i figure out exactly how i want to do that i would like to sew all of these on I don't have like an industrial kind of machine it's a really good sewing machine but I don't it's not industrial so I don't really know how it'll work well and I do recall hearing that needles for leather actually punch holes into the leather excuse me into the leather which is absolutely fine however it can also punch holes into your patch and what that would do will cut the threads that are like embroidered on the patch and then that's not what we want so I'm still trying to figure that out in the meantime though because you know patience is not one of my strong suits sometimes I decided to stick these down using crazy glue and I found that that seems to work a whole lot better than the e6000 glue so what you're gonna do with me today is stick these patches down now, I know I said crazy glue. However, I can't find my crazy glue, so I've been using nail glue. And honestly, I think it's the same exact thing. I, I don't really know. But I think it's like the same thing. Um, if you are a female or, you know, if you're just into nails, you might know what nail glue is. <laughs> you might own some nail glue. I think nail glue and crazy glue are the same thing. If it's not, let me know. But in this instance, for this purpose, they work exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do is stick down these patches. I already know which ones I want to go where, so that's not a question, but I'm just tired of waiting, so I just wanna get them off. So this one is, and how about we get this to focus? Oh shoot, I don't have my touch screen focus on. I'm sorry guys. So this one is a touch, no touch. <laughs> Will this work? Better. This one is Trust the Process, and this one is from Balm Cohen. So this one's gonna go on there, and then I'll just open them all up and show you which ones I'm gonna be using, and then I'll show you exactly where I'll be putting them. So then the next one is the Wabi Sabi patch, also from Balm Cohen, and it does go in this direction. I had to kind of look into that to make sure I'm putting it the right way. This patch I did get from Bomb Cohen, 
and I absolutely love it. Um, it is made by a company called Asilda. I don't know if you can see that right there. It says asildastore.com. And like I said, though, it was bought from Bomb Cohen and it says Shape the Future. I just really like the kind of, I don't know, modern deco, art deco kind of vibe that it has going with it. So that is one that I'm going to put on. And I also bought this one. So I bought this one because I wanted another large patch. It says Out to Live. I wanted another large patch to go on the back. But I actually have my heart set on a superior labor patch that I haven't yet found. So I'm going to put that on when I find it. <laughs> so here is, let's kind of do the layout that I have envisioned. Uh, was it? No, I think this one was like this. I have to kind of remember what I planned. So this one, the Shape the Future one, is the one I'm a little nervous about because I'm not sure how the glue is going to fare when we fold it. Like, I don't even know if I should fold it, then glue it. Like, this is the one I can imagine because of the movement of the TN opening and closing that it might cause some problems and kind of break the seal of the glue, maybe. And this is the one I'll likely really need to have sewn down but in the meantime I'll glue it and we'll see if it works but I definitely want this one to kind of go along or across the edge of the TN like that it's a little risky but you know she likes a risk she likes taking risks so this one is gonna line up kind of there I really do want this cover this TN to have a very very lived-in type of vibe type of feel I can also put that one there um, so that is what I'm looking forward to. And aside from the patches, I do have also this tab thingy. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a superior labor one. And it's the one like a little, you clamp it right here onto this side so that when you put your, when you wrap the string around, it doesn't dent the leather too much. It really doesn't matter. I'm not trying to not dent the leather. But I just like what, how that looks and just the added brass. And then I also have this Superior Labor clip that I'll be putting, oh yeah, that was my plan. So when and if I use the clip, it can kind of fit there. And I am putting this together and kind of building it with the understanding that I'll be adding other patches throughout the years. I know I'm not leaving a whole lot of space to do that, but I'm just going to cram them in wherever they go. And yeah, originally I thought that I would put this one here, but I don't quite love it there. I don't quite love it. Like if that clip goes there, then that can come up a little higher. And then that will be in the back, so that piece of brass will be in the back, so it won't overlap there. That could work. And then that pretty much makes the entire front of the TN spoken for. Unless there are like some really tiny patches somewhere. And that large um, superior, labor, superior labor patch is the one that's shaped as a heart. I envision it will go back here. This is where I bought this one. This is the spot where I um, thought this one would go. But I would much prefer to have the TSR one there. And it comes in green and brown I think. I could go... For either one all right so here are the patches that I'm thinking or the placement that I'm thinking and again this brass corner thingy is gonna go right here um but I feel like well this won't always be there I'm not liking this setup so maybe do I want to put the wabi-sabi back there I'm kind of liking that a little bit more and this is my pen clip um, that will usually live on here. Maybe not always. Same with the, br the brass clip. Like sometimes it'll be on there, sometimes it won't. So when it's not, um, it's just going to have that brass thing there. And it's going to be pretty empty here. So it will look like it's waiting for more. Or waiting, you know, to have some more customizations added. 
but it's okay. It's like I said, one that I want to kind of grow with me. So I'm fine with it looking uh, a little empty in that spot. It doesn't look too bad, actually, now that I think about it. But um, as I'm playing with this clip in this patch, I will say I need to get a pen. Will it bother me if this pen is covering that patch too much? Not really. I'm not really bothered. Also, this needs to move down maybe a bit. Okay, so that's not bad. Not too terrible. Or should I move that like there? I don't like that there. I do wish that the border of this patch was like navy blue, not light blue. So my hope is that it kind of gets dirty. <laughs> kind of gets dirty with time. That is my hope. Alright, so that is the placement. And I'm going to start out by gluing down all of the patches. I'm really concerned about this one. But let's see how it goes. And do these the sticky stuff? I suppose. Oh, it is sticky stuff. Don't be like me. Actually read the product description when you buy it. So, okay, so it already has adhesive on the back. So then that'll be easy for placement purposes. All right, so let's get started. I think I've done enough talking. Uh, so clearly I'll put these two down first. And I want this one so that it is kind of to the side, not straight up and down. Why? I don't know. That's just how I want it. Just going to squeeze some around the border of the sticker, I mean of the patch. Oh, but <laughs> shoot. So if I use that, that will be in the way. Do I care? It can go over the top of it. I don't know. Shoot, that's another thing I should have thought about before I did this. Should this go here? It has glue on it. Now I'm messing up my whole thought process. There, I don't really like it there. I want it at the top. But does it have to be, does it have to like leave room? Just stick it down. Just sticking it down. Will I hate that? Maybe. But it's okay. Alright. Okay, there's that. And then, I mean, if you've seen any of my Plan With Me videos, you know that I'm not really a stickler about perfect placement of anything because you know you'll get I'll get obsessive and stressed out about where a sticker goes and like life is too short I don't want to obsess over stickers I'm not gonna obsess over patches this is supposed supposed to look lived in and worn and you know all of that so if that means having the patches you know, place a little crazy, so be it. Alright, so this one can go right there. Alright, and then uh, the last one, the biggie. What should I do? Should I put it on and then bend it like what if how about bending this is that I don't think that's gonna work I don't think that's gonna work guys I don't want to iron it on why don't I want to iron it on should I iron it on let me think about this for a moment like I could put like a cloth over and then steam it to iron it and maybe that will hold it a little bit better I'm not really worried about damaging the leather because like I said, you know, it kind of gets scratched up easily and I want it to look scratched up and lived in. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Um, 
and I'll actually read what this says on the patch but in the meantime I'm gonna put on the superior labor clip I should take that off and I would like to line it up where with where you know where this goes so about there Oh, and the charm that I have on here is the Fragile one by Bomb Cohen, which I'll give you a closer look later. There's also a Fragile patch, but uh, that was huge. <laughs> I kind of wish it came like a lot smaller, but it doesn't. So this goes there. Now, how do I clamp it down? I should get a wrench. No, no, no. Pliers. That's what it's called. I should get pliers. To clamp that down and I'm also going to read the instructions about this uh, it doesn't have any instructions on here but I mean it's an iron-on patch so that should be pretty self-explanatory and I'll attempt to do that and then I'll be right back So here we are. <laughs> so I did use a bit of uh, the nail glue around some of the edges that were lifting and you saw that in the um, spat up clip. And I also did wet the cover to see if that would help kind of even it out. I'm, I don't really think it will. But my goal in doing that was to see like if I put leather conditioner on it will that help to even out the color if it doesn't that's actually still okay with me so here we are and i did add the clip i don't think i mentioned that but the clip is there will it live there forever maybe maybe not but i'm very happy with how this turned out and i will note that having this patch on the center so when i open it up it is a little just slightly puffy kind of like it, do it doesn't lay flat so if I were to put something in it, like a book like this, I think it'll lay flat enough. I don't think it'll be an issue, really. But let's see. I'm going to put this back in. Like I said, I haven't really put this into use. It hasn't been uh, added to the rotation just yet. I just have a few things living in it. And like I have this accordion folder. I have this um, sticker release book that I have actually been adding stickers to, but um, yeah. So it's been living in here for a while. And here we are. Okay, so there it is. And then this is a bit of a close up of the fragile charm that I was talking about the one from Baum Cohen, and that's there 
and this didn't turn out so bad. You can see a little bit of the glue where the patch kind of slid a bit as I close it. I do wonder if I let it dry for a little bit longer if it would have done that and then you can see here when I put the um, iron on it again on this side and an attempt to even out the color I actually made it a little bit <laughs> a little bit worse right there but again I think it's nothing that a bit of leather conditioner can't handle but even if it doesn't I think I'm okay with it it looks actually lighter like the variation in color looks lighter on the screen than it does in person but there we are so this is my updated not updated this is my customized lived in olive tn and I'm really excited to use it I'm excited to add more patches probably something coffee related next <laughs> we'll see but that is what it is at the moment and I'll pop my pen right back on here about right there so there you go and if you were thinking about adding patches to your traveler's notebook do it just go ahead and do it it's really fun and I like the idea of being able to um, kind of collect them over time ones that really speak to me and ones that really are personal to me and personal to my life so there it is and of course I'll add updated photos throughout the months and years of use and when I do switch my journal or whatever I intend to put in here I'll definitely be sure to post that information especially on Instagram so you can check me out over there if you want to see any updates Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.